On this episode, we'll take a look at an Audi TT Mark 1 to meet its passionate owner, Irvin, who will not only walk us around the car, but tell us why he's so in love with the Audi TT. Well, I, I bought it stock and I just wanted to make it, let's say, OEM plus. So just a few changes to enhance some of the, the real nice features of the car. Some of the things I did was using Plastidip on just to uh, enhance the, the black contrast with the silver. I did some modernizing of some parts. I, uh, I upgraded the wheels, painted the calipers in red, and I put some uh, 25 millimeter uh, spacers on it. So uh, along with obviously uh, new tires. Initially went for different, more modern headlights, but I went back to stock because they are better, right? Uh, I did a front lip just to, again, enhance the, the black uh, contrast with the silver. I upgraded the grill into a honeycomb grill just to give it a more modern styling, you know, to follow what the modern Audi models are, are bringing. Then if you, you can see back here, upgraded the antenna to do some minor red sort of accents around the car. I did modernize the taillights into ones that have more of a black accent and then again I use the black honeycomb for the rear diffuser there along with again plastic dipping of the stock uh, spoiler. Uh, I did install some uh, hardware and you can see the Borla exhaust down there uh, and again little details like this red bolts I brought from from the UK it's just adding some some minor minor details and then I did the same on the inside. All right, so the interior got the, the nice uh, baseball seats, which is a, a great option. They're in fantastic shape for almost 20 years old. But then I did some minor uh, improvements like in the uh, stick shift and the boot just to match the seats. And then across the, the interior, you're gonna see some aluminum details like this covers for the, for the buttons. But I selected just a few in order to make it Enhance, I guess. I didn't want to go overboard. It's just to make it, you know, better than, than stock. A few things, few upgrades I made to the car just to uh, bring it to stage two tuning. I did an upgraded intercooler and a downpipe, as well as uh, an upgraded diverter valve. Aside from that, it's really dressing up the engine bay. Um, I did put in a, a cold air filter but then these details, as you can see, I did some painting myself with wrinkle paint, but the rest of it really is, uh, is you can't see it, right? So it's a, a bit of upgrade that took the car from the stock 225 horsepower to now it's sitting at 283 horsepower. I think going further than that into the 300, you then sacrifice the stability of the car and the, the structural stability of the car. I, I have no uh, desire to go there. I think 283 is a sweet spot for this car. Um, you know, and I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the performance at the moment, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Urban, this is a, an amazingly beautiful car. Thank it, you. It really is. And I'm so grateful to have spent the day with you today to, to learn about it, to take pictures of it, to even be in it. And this is my first time being in your car. And I got to say, man, wow, it's amazing. Thank you. It sounds awesome. It rides awesome. It looks new. Why don't you tell me a little bit about why the TT? Well, I had a TT back when it came out in 2002. I had a coupe um, back in the day, and then uh, after an, a couple of years, I crashed the car, and I uh, ended up having different other cars, and I always loved the TT, the design of it, and uh, I said, you know, one day I'm gonna buy one and maybe restore it and have fun with it, and uh, a couple of years ago, I found this one, and I've okay. been working on it ever since, yep. 
And this has been quite a journey for you. I mean, you told us a little bit about all the modifications you've done and the, basically the blood, sweat, tears, time and money that you put into it. And it shows, right? I mean, it's this gorgeous car, fantastic. Um, but there's a little bit more of a story to it, right? The car has kind of its own personality. What, tell us a little bit about this, yeah? Tell us a little bit about Patty. Patty, P-A-T-T-Y, and the T-T because of Audi T-T. Because the Audi T-T. So, so Patty is because I am a big Beatles fan. Okay. And there's this woman, that, she's still alive, and she was uh, the wife of George Harrison, one of the Beatles. And he wrote uh, one of his number one songs was uh, something. He wrote it for her. And then they divorced and she ended up marrying Eric Clapton, one of the best <laughs> guitarists of all time. And he wrote Layla and he wrote Wonderful Tonight. You know, uh, so man. this woman has incredible songs written for her. <laughs> she, she was married songs. to rock legends. There is something special about her. Apparently. She's got yeah. songs after her, now a car dedicated to exactly. her. Exactly. So yeah. I said to, you know, this is perfect. I could use the, the double T and then, you know, a bit of a homage to one of my uh, my Beatles stories. So that, that makes a whole lot of sense, you know? So that's where the name comes from. And you have a following. This, this car has a following. It has a following. It's got more than 1,500 uh, followers on Instagram. Um, it's uh, Patty underscore Audi TT on Instagram and uh, mostly from the UK and Europe. There is a big following of the car in the UK. Okay. Many clubs and even specialty shops there. Um, so I got a lot of followers around the world and, and we share tips on upgrades and you know things that we can do to the car and uh, yeah so it's got it's got a bit of a following. She's in pristine condition, looks fantastic, the interior is absolutely spotless. It has a sort of modern feel to it even though it's it's 20 years old. It's a timeless vehicle and you've done such a great job preserving that that look and feel that authenticness of it and bring it into say the next century right the new generation yeah it's still it's a timeless design i mean this car there's three generations of the tt uh and uh, i think the first generation this one is, is the most beautiful um and it's uh it's still a looker people yeah. take pictures with it people want to are asking about the interior they they wonder whether i made these seats custom made they're they, awesome seats because they don't know it was an actual option by audi back in the day um so it's still creating stories you know? yeah yeah and you're influencing people you were telling me <laughs> earlier you got people now buying tts because they've seen all the work that you've done and how it's turned out yeah yeah and now you know i've influenced a couple of friends even my next door neighbor, he's been watching me play the car and, and upgrade the car and, and he, he went away and bought one uh, and uh, you know, he's, he's happy and then I have another friend who bought a, a black one. Um, so now, you know, there's a, a little club. You got a club. Yeah, you create your own club. Of Audi TTs <laughs> and we, uh, we share tips and so on and it's just great. People see the value of the car, they see, you know, how easy it is to upgrade parts are not really expensive right 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 uh, which is which is important um, and, uh, and they're, they're coming to appreciate what it is with a bit of work required but but that's part of the fun yeah, yeah. And bring it back to life to its glory and and uh, I think it's a great project car. yeah yeah where you can pick them up pretty inexpensive Correct. depending on the condition depending and it depends how much blood, sweat, and tears you want to put into it, right? Exactly, if you can work on the, on the car yourself, I don't do that, but if, if you can do that, you save a lot of money on, on doing some of the work yourself. Yourself, yeah. yeah. Before we wrap up, tell me the best, most interesting story you have with the TT. Maybe somebody really caught their attention or... Yeah, you know. I get people coming to me saying, I had this car back in the day, I didn't appreciate it. I, I hope I would have kept it. Uh, look at it now, you know, I'm, I'm gonna probably look for one of those. So there might be people out there that saw Patty and then went off to probably find one. At least I know two people that did it, <laughs> right? So that's always interesting. You know, right. people come to me and say, you know, how how do you find it? Where do you find it? What should I avoid? It's, there's a whole storytelling behind the car. Um, but but it's part of the fun, it's part of the mystique, yeah. Yeah, well we appreciate that. I mean, for sure, you're keeping Audis out on the road, you're bringing back old cars that are classic cars, uh, concept cars, if you will, right? right? Because it went right from concept to production, exactly. and keeping them on the road. 
and I think that's awesome. Um, especially with Audi changing up the the future of the TTs, we don't really know what's in store, right? They said that the the car as we know it is is gone. It's right, dead. They're killing right. it. Yeah. Um, to be replaced with something electric, and it's it's nice to see that you have what's going to become a rare car still being preserved, well maintained. It looks beautiful. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, happy to uh, share it with everyone. Thank you for sharing with you. Yeah, Thank for you. sure. Thank you for having right. me on the show. All right.